Hi friends! Today we're going to do my TBR for the Summer Scare Readathon. If you missed my announcement video, the Summer Scare Readathon is a readathon that I'm hosting that will be taking place from August 1st through the 9th. It's a Saturday to a Sunday, two full weekends. I am so excited to do some spooky summer reads with you guys. As I said in the announcement video, uh, spooky is kind of a word that you could use for anything really. If it's spooky to you, then it works for me. I just want you guys to read some books that you consider spooky with me while I read some books that I consider spooky. There are five prompts. They are to read a diverse spooky book, a book with purple on the cover, a book with a ghost on the cover, a book with a spooky word in the title, and a book under 200 pages. I have a book on my shelves that I did not know. I knew I had it, but I didn't know it quite fit the challenges so well that it covers all except for being a diverse read. And that is Sarah Normal, the first book in the Sarah Normal series called Ghost Town. It is purple. There's like a ghost over here in the shadow. It has the word ghost in the title, meaning spooky word in the title. And it's a short mid grade that has about 150 pages in it. So this literally hit everything except for being a diverse read. So there's my challenges sorted out. I actually don't think I already own a diverse spooky book. I went through what I have. I know I have some books that I don't know for sure, like if the main character is diverse or not. I did a little bit of research on Goodreads. I don't think so. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of searching at the library um, and do some research to try to find a diverse spooky book. I don't have one currently. So that's open. If you know one that's really good, please recommend it to me down below. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking. So uh, I don't, I own a lot of spooky books, but they're all like mid-grade or um, from the 90s or so I don't have a lot that really fit that challenge because, you know, we're still struggling getting diverse books published now, let alone in the 90s. So speaking of spooky mid-grade books, I also still have the Creepover series. There are seven of these left that I have not read. Um, 6 through 9 and 11 through 13 because I read 10 last year for a readathon challenge. So I have those that I'm going to go through as well during the week. I, obviously I don't intend to read them all but you know as many as I can. Because I typically also listen to audiobooks I have the first five volumes of the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan on audio. Um, actually the first well I've already read the first one, so the next four. So I have The Coven, Blood Witch, Dark Magic, Awakening, and Spellbound are in this bind up. So I have four audiobooks that I can listen to. Um, like so This is one of the series that's from the 90s. And through the first book, I'm pretty sure every main character is white. So I've had these for a few years. I always say I'm going to get to them during a spooky month during October, and I don't. So hopefully I get to them now. Um, I want to read at least one of these, maybe two. They're pretty short. The books are about 175 to 180 pages each, so they're pretty short. Also on my list of hopefully I'll get through during the week is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I just hauled this last month. Uh, it's a ghost house haunting kind of book. I don't know if it's going to end up having like a paranormal or a psychological thriller aspect to it, but it's a spooky house book. So I want to try to read this as well. I realize this week is going to be very uh, mood ready for me. It's just going to depend on what I want to pick up at the time. And that's why I picked so many books to kind of go through. These are all just options that I have. So here is this beautiful collection. So I definitely will be reading Sarah Normal because like I said that hits four challenges. So I'm going to read that one first. I may read it on the first, very first at midnight. I don't know for sure, but I definitely want to read that one first. Um, and then just go through the others as I have time and I will also be looking for a spooky diverse book. So as I said if you have one of those that you recommend please let me know in the comments below because I'm looking for one. And the last thing that I want to talk about before I leave you guys today is live read-ins. I'm going to be hosting some live read-ins during the week. I don't know exactly what days. Probably one on each weekend and one during the week sometime. 
probably. I will get those up and pre-scheduled sometime this week so you'll know for sure when I'm going to do some live read-ins. Uh, if you've never done a live read-in before I'm just going to kind of host it like I do my live write-ins that I do for the authorship side of my channel. So I will be doing like reading sprints. They'll probably be longer than what you do with writing sprints because writing sprints are typically like 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll probably do like some 25, 30 minute sprints um, and do like a little bit of chatting in between. So we're just all reading together, kind of motivating us to read together and then getting to learn about each other and talk about the books that we're reading kind of in between. If you have any other questions about the readathon, just let me know in the comments below. I will be happy to answer those for you. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!